I think we have a duty here that it goes beyond business to uh, to do something for society, for the planet. Uh, and there is many ways you can do it, right? You can go and uh, switch up, make sure you switch up the light in the evening. You can go and demonstrate in the street, or you can try to engage an organization of 7,000 people with a lot of some of the best minds and resources to do something about it at a larger scale. And that's sort of what we're trying to do here. So it starts with we're just doing it because we think it's the right thing to do. Um, we're doing it because I really believe that this is key for a sustainable business. And the meaning of sustainable business here is a, a business that lasts in time. Um, and there's two things that guarantee that the business lasts in time is continuity with customers and our customers are asking us to do it. Our customers for a large part are ahead of us in on their commitments, certainly on the environmental side of things. And they ask us to be at par, to work with them, to do it with them. And they will end up selecting suppliers that are serious about it. So if we want to stay in business for the next 10, 15, 20 years or plus, we need to do that because uh, the end, our customers are asking us to do it. And we do it because our teams are asking it. And you know, when we go out and hire uh, people in a very competitive uh, uh, environment where it's hard to get the best talent, uh, this is one of the questions they always ask. You know, what do you do? You have a sustainability policy? Is Saitiva serious about sustainability? And, and I'm convinced that very soon, if you don't have the proper answers to that, you don't hire the best. And if you don't hire the best, you don't stay in this in this in this space. So. So I think the why is very clear. It's a moral duty, and I think it's a requirement to stay in business over the, the, long, uh, the long term. 